Hello, I'm Introducing and welcome back to XCOM Needs You. We had a fairly good mission against Exalt last time, and now we have an alien terror attack in Nates! On Nance! Ah, uh, France. France, France, France. Here's the issue. That's our squad. If we waited a little bit, we could get maybe a medic, maybe, maybe a scout, and another gunner. No one high level enough. I think we would end up losing people. It's a terror attack. It's someone we don't really care about. We already have a lot of people have left, right? In Europe. We're not going to get Europe. We already have the bonus for Europe and that cannot be taken away from us. If you have a look at our launch satellite coverage, we have Germany and Russia pulled out. We don't care about Europe that much because we have our base there. We already have the bonus. We're not going to lose the bonus. France. And I know I'm putting this a long spiel on this because I know people are going to complain. People are like, oh, you should have gone. But I'm not going to go. We would lose people. It's pretty certain we'd, you know, take some damage, etc. Exacerbate the problem we already have. All for keeping France in. And France gives us 60 quid per month. It's a minimal gain. We're going to skip it. Now, this is interesting. I could do the money. I know alien hours are hard to come by, but I need more rookies. So I'm actually going to dispatch the items. And then I'm going to sell... Do, 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 do. Where are you, my weapon fragments? There we go. And then I'm just going to go to the barracks and buy instantly some rookies. Uh, although, interestingly, what are we on? 93 and we need to be 100... Yeah. Oh well. Uh, hi, soldiers. Let's get eight more. That'll bring us up to 50. I prefer to be on about, you know, 50 to 60 at this point in the game. And not quite so many rookies, but he'll have to do. And bye bye, terror mission. It says stop scanning, but we're not moving ahead. France has lost. Uh, lo lost? France has left. We've lost France. Okay, that makes more sense. Um. Interesting mesh texture issue there. Anyway. Low radar. Let's scramble the intercept. To singular. Balanced. Now people keep complaining. Oh, why don't you go up on defensive? Why don't you go on defensive? I need to hit the enemy, right? If I go up defensive, I take a minus as well. I need to hit the enemy. The enemy hit the enemy is more important than getting damage. Otherwise I wouldn't have gone. We need to hit them. We got a hit. Now, I don't want to send up my Interceptor again, because if I do that, then I'm going to have no Interceptors for several days. I'm going to take that and I'm going to move on. And we've completed a carapace sound release, but I know it's going to be annoying. I know people are going to be like, oh, but you should have shot it down. No, no, again, we have to just go with it, right? We can't afford to have a massive gap. We can't afford to, you know, lose a satellite towards the end of the month, I think. All right, France has left. Bye, France. Sorry. Okay, a low raider. Let's scramble the interceptors. We only have one, so I'm gonna go up balance. Now, people are like, oh, why don't you go up defensive, right? I, I can afford to take it. I can't afford to take a hit because we need some defense. And people are like, oh, go up defensive then. Enemy defensive affects you, and we need the hit more than we need anything else. So I'm gonna try and get one hit and then leave. Right, we got our hit. We didn't get hit ourselves. That's it. Hopefully, it'll be enough to turn off their mission. But I, I don't want to risk it, right? Now, people are like, I oh, want you to go up defensive. It's like, no, no, no. If we, if we wanted to not get hit, we wouldn't go up at all. We've got to get a hit. And defensive means that we take a minus in addition to them. It's not worth going up defensive. You need to either go up, you know, full on, full bore aggressive, or maybe even possibly balanced. Defensive is pointless. Um, if it made you have a plus or minus and not them, that'd be different. But defensive means that you have a, you know, a negative and they have a negative. And it's like, eh, why not? I need to get the hit. Anyway, let's scan for activity. Um, the aircraft's back. We have a carapace, the UFO left. Uh, no, because I like my rifles, thank you very much. Lots of people coming back now, excellent. And weapon fragments. For an engineer. You know what, I need engineers, dispatch the items. I need engineers, I'm not getting them from my... Ooh, <gasps> ooh. So. 
We have a thin man researched. We have to capture ourselves an alien outsider. I thought that said research the alien gnome for a moment. I was like, why would they have a gnomes? No, genome. We all got ourselves a laser credit, but that doesn't matter because we already have laser weapons. I don't know why it's attached to something like that, where you normally have it anyway. I guess not everyone does. I guess it's just a side effect of sprinting for lasers. Meh, yeah, makes sense. Um, I could go gauze. Xenogenetics. Yeah, okay, we could go Xenogenetics. Only four days. Four days in a genetic seems good. New soldiers on site! Everyone to the barracks. Hello, new soldiers. Storm Chaser 9, as red as blood. Kyle Jaleon. Dominic Nolt. Matty of the Crazy. Ziriv Yudar. Ahmed Jabba. Richard Fawcett. And I think that's it for the new ones. Yes. Okay, no one there is repeated, are they? Um... I don't think so. Yep, it's good to me. Who have we got? Let's. I know we said who we got, but I want to like look at their stats now. This is a above average aim by one, but that's a horrible move. This is better. Thirteen move for above average aim. Still not great. Storm Chaser nine. Seventy two aim. Storm Chaser nine. I love you. I want you to become infantry or sniper. Everyone else can, you know, pretty much be almost anything. I do need, you know, a scout, but... Storm Chaser 9. I'm digging that. I'm digging that indeed. Also need some medics. We've manufactured ourselves a scoop. Sectoids for scientists. Uh, you know what? We're building our fourth lab. I don't want any more scientists. Not now. Uh, Melva scientists. Again, not now. Scope! Carry on, we have our scope upgrade available. Council report. Excellent work, Commander. B grade. We lost a satellite, the UFOs escaped seven. See our continued support of this project has eh. been worth seven seventy isn't a lot of money. We hope unfortunate. That your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort. To eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. Okay. We have three hundred in touch, Commander. We have 321. That's suitable. Let's look at our... Wait, wait when are our more extra soldiers getting here? We did buy a second batch, didn't we? Three days. Okay. Let's look at the hangar. Two aircraft are ready. One's still equipped with avalanche missiles, unfortunately. Then three days, then two at five days, and then one at 13. Oh, 13 hours, actually. We could maybe build another laser cannon now. However... This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. In now, there are a couple of things we definitely want to get. Leader. Something like... Something is it alien metallurgy to get more meld? Uh, more ally? Yeah, it costs a lot of meld. The real question is, what sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast hmm. range of alien species? So, this would be very expensive, but it would give us more alloy, and we do need more alloy. Getting it the earlier, the better, because it pays off more in the long term. We could, you know, in turn, we could get something like... A shiv? We need to build all the things for the shiv. The uh, alloy shiv will cost us about 200, then all the stuff will cost about 300 anyway. So it's either this or an alloy shiv. That said, we could also get more carapace armor. I don't think armor's that necessary right now. I think we go alien metallurgy. How long will it take? 12 days, that's fine. It's really expensive. It's horrible when you see such an expense like that go out. And it's uh, an expense where you get a gradual income from it, right? You get a gradually, you get more alloy. So, what have we got in store? Um, a low raider. Yeah, we'll send up Fairchild. Aggressive. We've got a laser and an avalanche. We've got an avalanche coming in less than a day. So, I think we'll send up the avalanche. I don't think I'll follow up the laser. I don't like the idea of having holes in our defense. Especially when we actually kind of want to keep our satellites alive. Please hit. Oh, we got down to half health. But we are nearly crippled. But we got down to less than half health. Oh. So, you know, it probably won't be able to complete its mission. This is why I didn't send up the laser dude, though. I was tempted there, but I didn't. And it was the right choice, because we have a high UFO trying to shoot down our satellites. See? This is why I don't do that. 
or so. Wow, 25 days. At least we're getting a load back. In the next five days, we'll have pretty much everyone but uh, Fairchild back. Fairchild did a great job. We need to go progressive. This guy needs to die. And people go on at me for, you know, not using defensive. It's like, oh, why don't you got defensive if you don't want to get hit? It's like, because then we won't hit them. It's, it's important to hit the enemy. That's why I'm going up. If I didn't want to hit the enemy, I wouldn't be going up. Okay, miss. Okay. I should have used track. We could have got a kill. That said, he's below half health. He won't be able to complete his mission. <gasps> Ooh, Xenogenetics! Yay! We have the Genetics Lab available. We should build that. That should be uh, one of the things we should do pretty quick. Alien Bio-Cybernetics. Thank you to our research. Blah, 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 blah. Seeing a completely understanding of Alien Bio-Cybernetics may provide us with the ability to capability to provide humans. Ooh, I like this. We should do this immediately. Seven days. It allows us to build mechs. I like the idea of going quick mech. I'm really digging the idea of a quick mech. Let's do it. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Yep. Thank I've you. Put the new recruits to work Good. In the lab. Now, we'll want to build the uh, genetics lab here because it counts as a laboratory for adjacency purposes. So, we'll need to dig that out, which means I need to get some money. Dr. Volland's interrogation technique certainly is efficient. You'd never know it by That's just a little bit disturbing how you much you like that, Central. Nightmare. It's certainly efficient, yes. No, Central, just no. Um, what do I want to sell? I could get rid of power source. At this point in the game, I probably want to keep them to be able to, you know, make our own reactors. Do I want to get rid of them? Do I want to get rid of the alien power sources? No, probably shouldn't. Get rid of a couple of Seekers. I probably should know how much I'm... I think I'm meant to be getting, what? 10, 20, 40. So I need 40 for this level. So I need another 10 bucks. Um, so I decide I definitely want to keep because you need them later and they're kind of hard to keep the wrecks. So I will also sell... At least we've got some vets on our side. It takes a serious pair to go face to face with one of those things. Okay. One of what things? Oh, we're talking about the cops, like a floater. No, it doesn't take a lot to go head over a floater. More than a rookie, yeah, but in general. There we go. Contact we don't have actually anyone to go up, do we? Eight hours, yeah, so. <gasps> we could shoot this guy down. We would have a hole. I really don't want to have a hole in our defenses. Should I, should I, should I go for him? No, I shouldn't. Leaving a whole lot of defense would be stupid. New soldiers! Let's check out the new soldiers. Hello there, my new pretties. Who have we got? Who have we got? Brandon Murray. Above average aim, 69. Um, 11 move, though. Ugh. Chris Trot. He doesn't really move at a trot. But he's got 73 aim. <gasps> Master Z! 75, that's the top a rookie can have. David Potter, above average, along with 14 move, 5 health. That's really good. I mean, you will have suffered, but... What else have we got? OCP, eh, average-ish. Geno Granger, 09, 72 with a 12 move. Quen, with an average, 14 move. Tori, welcome back, Tori. Ah, uh, that's... A... I'm sorry, Tori. That's awful. And that's average. And then back up to Storm Chasers. So actually, I think we've got a good selection of rookies here. That second batch was definitely the better batch. Um, should we continue on? Ooh, this is a decent offer. I'm going to take this. I could do the Tactical Corporal. Uh, I could do both uh, Infantry and a Assault, depending on his stats. This will mean we'll be using a lot of our Thin Men that we need to use for... Chemical grenades, because basically we cut the thin men up and chuck them inside chemical grenades. But it's good. I like this idea. Dispatch. Reward, corporal, barracks, few soldiers, and who did we get? We got you. That movement is good, but that aim is also above average. The health doesn't indicate assault to me. That health doesn't indicate assault. I'm thinking a maneuverable infantry.
yeah. Almost any, almost anyone, provided they've got move, can be an assault, regardless of other stats. It's very rare to be able to get people who can be infantry. I'm going to take the infantry. And we will go with Covering Fire, because it also gives us free aim. Like, Covering Fire is really good for the fact that it gives you that free aim bonus in addition to the fact you've got Covering Fire. Like, what else would I take? Steadfast, plus will. Meh. Executioner. Eh, plus 10 aim against people with low half health. Covering Fire is just blatantly better at this perk, I think. Especially with the free aim bonus. And what for this? Uh, opportunist. Tactical Sense. Aggression. Um... Opportunist. It synergizes so well with that. 82 aim. Oh, because you came a higher rank, but you hadn't been upgraded, you didn't change your outfit. No, that, that doesn't make sense. You should have automatically changed your outfit. Okay, this is odd. I'll have to check this. Um, Armor tint. You're meant to be blue, aren't you? That blue? I think so. Uh, we'll also give you the beret as well. Be that way. Hello, Kyle. What's your full name? Kyle Potts. Hello, Kyle Potts. Power generator. generator. Carry on. Carry on my way with That's our backup satellite. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Oh, more, more Thin Men for another support. We do need a support corporal. We need another medic. I, I really dislike using my Thin Man corpses like this because we're going to build chemical grenades pretty soon. But yeah, this is too good. Dispatch items. This is this is our problem solved. We've got 16 recruits I bought and two, you know, recruits who... No one. Who is this? Just no one. Profit no one. Hello, Profit no one. Now, what are your... I also need a grenadier. Medics are more important. That low health, though. And then poor aim as well. I th still think medic. I think move would be better for Grenadier, so we'll go medic. And I will take... I'm going to take the, the support path, which is uh, smoke grenades. There's a healy path, there's the, you know, backup infantry path, and then there's the support path. I'm going to take the support path for you. 55 will as well. Oh god, where are you now? What was your name? Prophet no one. I need to change your outfit. I don't know why your outfit isn't default changing. It should be. I must have put minus one for the color instead or something when I copied it across. I did update a little while ago and maybe it just hasn't done that properly. Um, armor tint. White. There we go. Okay. Swarming, 115. You know what? I like this because it's 115. You know, it's a little bit difficult. Aberdeen. What is it with Aberdeen? I guess it's the last place left in Europe. That makes sense. Well, I'm going to be outfitting my squad. I will catch you guys in a second. And we're back with some tasty carapace armor. So, the Joker of Stelzio Republic will be leading the charge. Set up for, you know, a bit of support roll with smoke grenades. Also wielding double flashbangs. And then outfitted with carapace armor to get a full 12 HP because the Joker of Star Wars The Old Republic already had 7 base, which is pretty crazy. Only at 12 move though because of the carapace armor, which is a shame. Kyle Potts. Kyle! Kyle, our new infantry, because our new infantry had 15 move, I was able to chuck on carapace armor, heavy laser rifle, and still we've got 13 move. Which is great for an infantry. It makes me very happy. Uh, we're up to a you know, crazy sort of level aim of 89 for a corporal. Because I could also whack on a laser sight and a scope. Going to be doing some serious damage there. FX Energy. Unfortunately, FX Energy is one of the few people without armor. That's because we are kind of out of armor. 10 HP, fine. Shotgun, laser pistol, flashbang. Boring, standard, normal. Van Dorn. Van Dorn needs the XP. He's very close to getting level up. In fact, one kill or just in fact this mission will level him up. He's on 91 aim, wielding, you know, a marksman rifle and an objective round, so he actually gets a movement bonus. He's at lowest at 7 HP, I believe, so we have to be a little bit careful about him. But Toopy, wielding 10 HP by wielding the, uh, you know, phalanx armor, 
Laser Shatter Ray and Arc Thrower. That's going to mean that he's got 16 move. He should be able to, you know, capture something for us. We have Thin Men and Floater, I think. We need anyone else. So, you know, mutants, uh, sectoids, that sort of thing. Double HE grenades as well to blow holes in walls. Tim Gibbs. Now, Tim Gibbs is 11 move. You know I hate going below 12, but in this case, well, we don't have a choice. Even wielding attack vest and allo plate and a scope, we're at 11 move. 9 HP is acceptable. And finally, we're taking Storm Chaser 9 with us. Now, Storm Chaser 9, in fact, gets phalanx arm and an allo plate, along with a laser carbine HE grenade, because Storm Chaser needs to survive. And you know what? I'm going to change this HE grenade. I'm going to change it for a medkit. Storm Chaser needs to survive. Storm Chaser has a 72 aim. Storm Chaser, I'm relying on you to be something awesome. That said, we probably not actually going to get an infantry out of you. Might get a sniper, because we get the choice between scout and sniper, and we don't have many scouts, so that would probably be the conclusion, I think. Which is fine. Uh, laser Carbine, so we can actually get some hits, because, you know, Storm Chaser needs to kill things off. Storm Chaser needs the final, you know, the final hit to win. Should be fine. Shall we go for it? I've not got many. I've only got one rookie because it is a swarming mission. Several buildings in a large combat zone. Let's launch the mission. Aberdeen, here we come. Today's mission is Operation Next Lost Priest. In the UK. Well, we're, we're, we're looking for this priest. He got lost. He wandered into a shop, Papier Inc. You'll be deploying at the site I don't know why I said Papier. It says shop. It's obviously German and not French, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what shop is. I pretend I like I know stuff. That's entirely my life, actually. I just pretend I know stuff. I don't. This map, I remember, because it's a map where you chain explode cars and you kill your own rocketeer. I think it was a rocketeer. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry. Let's launch the mission. Now, we took a while to get to here because of all the shenanigans of avoiding a terror mission. Hopefully, we can clear these guys out pretty fast. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Stand Interesting down. spawn point. Roger, Big Sky. We're at the back of the building. Five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay. I guess we'll push into the building? Yeah, if we stack up on both sides and we push in in one go, we should be good. Bloody hell. This is weird. Um, Solid copy. Infantry's going to be here. Who else? Who's got not much move? No, we definitely need firepower over here. What else do we need? Shotgun over here, since this is a flank, technically. 2P... I like that it 2P also being over here. Now, I didn't bring a scout because I'm silly. Also because we're running out of scouts. But we have a lot of firepower. Okay. Medic over here. Which means 2P should go on this flank. Ten four. Van Dorn. On my way. And then Storm Shades can go on this side as well. Moving out. And Overwatch. Oh crap. That sounded really nearby. On my way. Okay, it wasn't that door. Well, let's open. I'm looking for meld. We're definitely short on meld now. We've started using our, you know, what is it? Re reclamation project of some kind. The one that allows us to get more alloy. But it cost us a lot of meld. Okay. To that location. Okay, weird. Was expecting to see someone. This is, you know, a swarming mission, right? Moving out. Eyes on target. Aha! Oh, we need you alive as well. Hi. Don't mind us. I could move there. It's not high cover, but I will. Solid copy. Yeah, we're probably going to hunker. And Peter Van Dorn, unfortunately, doesn't have a good place to stand. Oh. Well, we'll figure out what Peter's going to do in a minute. Um, I definitely want to have Tupi coming up and getting in position. Tupi's going to be helpful. Rolling. I just hope we don't trigger anyone. Roger that. Pretty tempting to use a grenade right now, but I'll hold off because you know I'm a bit afraid of what they could have with them. 
They could have friends. And that would be bad for us. I'm going to sprint to here. Gives us high cover. That's in a position where technically we could get some shots. Overwatch should stop them coming forwards, hopefully. Now, you're in half cover, so that's not acceptable. You hunker. Everyone else is going to be on... I could open this door. I'll we'll have to get some shots. Yeah, let's do it. That was silly. Really silly. There's a reason I didn't open that door to begin with. Technically now, we can get a free shot, though, because they're within free shot range. Hi. Bye. Uh, and Gunner. Thank you. I'm going to go on Overwatch because there is a guy. He's just up here, though. I think we can see him, actually, if we were in that view below. Like, there was a guy literally just up here that apparently we can't see, but we could see from our cinematic camera. Okay, so he's been boosted. Tupi! Right, that guy's going to be capturable. He might get boosted next turn, though. And that'll stop him being captured. He's run away, which is actually good for us, because we can kill his friends and then go for him. And? And? This is getting a bit slow. Come on. That's drones. Hey, don't we have an overwatch? Okay. Yeah, cover fire. There we go. Noise. We don't have heat, apparently. Um, we need another level for heat. Otherwise, that would have been a lot of damage. And shoot. Yes. That's it for your turn. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow up this wall. There's no point fanning about. I want to blow up this wall. And if I want to blow it up, it dies. It'll allow me to shoot that guy. There we go. That guy should be killable now. Can we shoot? No, we can't shoot him. Okay. 100% chance. Well, you're dead. Bye. Got him. Now, I could leave this guy alive to try and capture. I'm kind of digging that idea. Um, if we go here, I can get a shot with a laser pistol. Aye, aye, Commander. Change the laser pistol and... Let's zap him. It could kill him with a crit. Yeah, it killed him. Oh, well. It was the best. I'm, I'm convinced it was the best option. Like, I'm not going to mince my words. That was probably the best choice anyway. We've still got a friend alive that we can kill. Move up with Peter Van Dorn. And Storm Chaser can stay there just to guard the back. The Joker can also move in. Heading to that location. And I'm actually going to have a mass hunker rather than any overwatches because I don't want to accidentally shoot that sectoid. You can be on overwatch. I, yeah, that's fine. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can be on overwatch because I don't expect anyone to come out the back. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Come on. Cover my flank. <gasps> I didn't know there was an extra guy. Their attack. That's annoying. I didn't know there was an extra guy. Probably should have known. You, you're going down. First, can we get a kill with Storm Chaser? Yay! That means Storm Chaser is probably going to go up a level. Not guaranteed. Toasted. Okay. We need to move towards this guy. That doesn't count as cover. You sure? Okay. Fine. That's Solid full cover. Job. There we go. I've got to be careful that we don't trigger another pod as we move up. So, I kind of want you to provide covering... Uh, can you? You cannot provide covering fire. Okay. That's understandable. Heading to that location. Now, I'm not going to take the shot. I'm just going to steady weapon, just in case I need to. I don't think I'll need to take a shot. 
And you can move up to here. Aye, aye, Commander. Now, everyone's basically getting in contingency areas. So like, you know, just in case things go wrong. I think I will sprint all the way to here this turn. No activations. Good. Can move Carl Potts up as well. Basically, I want people in, in like, position just in case things go wrong and we need the shot. And I don't even want you overwatching, actually, so I'm going to have you reload. Oh, great. Now you're in the open. Oh, great. I didn't know there were that many. Bloody hell. I swear there were only two. Okay. Okay, run. Run. Well, for start, we will... Okay, and then I believe we could be able to get the shot from here. Moving. It's not a guaranteed kill. Yeah. Oh well, it's fine. Who wants here. the kill? Who deserves the kill? Uh, Carl Potts wouldn't be bad, but Carl Potts is a little bit busy. Patupi. I don't feel safe running forwards. So I'm going to wait for the sector to come to me. Peter Van Dorn, can you get the shot? 4% chance. Ah, worth a try. No okay. Shall we have the kill with the Joker? Probably. Heading out. 61. Miss, okay. Now we're getting into problematic circumstances. Moving out. Kyle. Overkill, but, you know, better that it happened. Ready to rock. FX energy, reload your shotgun. Reloaded. Right, what's next? Definitely drones still around. You have to advance aye, aye, carefully. Commander. There's Back a sectoid line. out there. Which Good probably won't matter. Let's rock. Okay. Change. Reload. It's killing time. And we'll move you up as well. Heading to that location. Lock they just like loaded. walk backwards for a bit. Interesting. Moving out. Move you up, and then we'll reload you as well. Reloaded. I probably shouldn't be doing this. I'd probably wait until they're all in position, but I'm lazy. Time to motor. Tupi forwards. And then Hunker. Okay. That's the sound of a sectoid. That could be out. here. Okay, that's more sectoids. Or the same one. Judging my position, I say it's the same one. <gasps> Ooh, hello! They're starting to lose ground. Ah, now you're going to suffer. My Jedi friend. Where is he? He's here. There now. Hi. Please be a... Yes! Sectoid! I don't know if we could, um, actually have... Yeah, we'd have gone run and gun and killed him with run and gun. So yeah, we'd have been fine. It's just a little bit risky. Now, as for killing his friends, I think we just open up this door and we'll go out the front into the car park. I don't fancy going all the way around. It just seems a little bit on the excessive side. So, we are going to probably do it with Gunner. Kyle will probably need to be near this door, so I don't fancy getting right next to the door this turn. I'll do it next turn. Where's our sniper? Sniper, where are you? General Van Dorn. Hello, Van Dorn. How are you today? Moving. Steady weapon. Uh, De Joker, you're not a bad shot. Go up to the front. And Storm Chaser, yeah, just, you know, don't get yourself hurt. FX Energy. Move into position to back up Tupi if necessary, just in case something goes wrong up there. 
shouldn't do. There's always a possibility. Come on. We've been doing good so far. Right, let's let's open this door. Okay. Nothing untoward. Aha! Drones! That's not terrible. Could be a lot worse. It's kind of been like, oh no! A cute puppy! Except maybe not quite so cute. We've no shot here. We've no Okay, well we're gonna need to move up. And we find a pod of floaters. We have already have a floater, don't we? Yeah, I think we move back. On my way. What have we got? 62, 67s. I'll take the 67. Decent damage. Peter Van Dorn is, you know, pulling it through. Uh, we could start sneaking around the edge. There's always a risk of a pod. I think that's most of the pods, though. Take the 49. Because they were all 49. Yeah! The Joker's pretty damn good. Um, what else have we got? 59. Come on, Carl. Nice. I like the fact that he just fell out of the air. He just went... Fall. Um, don't really know what to do now. I guess Storm Chase can back us up from here. Or get a shot from here, in fact. 42. Now I like the idea of an Overwatch. Keep them in check. Um, let's start sneaking up. Heading out. Now, we could always just blow away through the wall and then do that, but so now let's just hope they haven't noticed us. So, more drone. Okay. Hello. Keep moving at us. Fine. Just means that we need to shoot them rather than the floaters, which is annoying. Ah, uh, fine. Just means this means that the floaters are going to move, right? Because they now, like, okay, there's no overwatch. Drones are really annoying when used like this. Are you attacking my guys on the side? You shouldn't know where they are. Okay, I have no idea where he's gone. Which is worrying. That's really annoying from floaters when they do that. It's like, oh yeah, we can just move anywhere. I'm going to try and check where he is. That's a two wide square, so it can't be him. Um, he's not there. Okay, so he's somewhere out back of the building is my guess. Right, can you kill that drone? Apparently you can't even see that drone. Please be a hit. It looks like a miss. <sighs> okay. What have we got in the way of shots over here? We have three of them. Okay, we, this guy needs to die. It's too close. So, 71. Bam. Got him. And then that guy. Oh, we could miss. I'm about to start keeping shot Only one person we can shoot here. The other option is to use something like a smoke grenade, but I don't think that's quite necessary. Um, 2P. I'm just going to continue sneaking up the back. Like, the other option is to move inside and then basically get, like, set with a shotgun for an overwatch or something. I don't think it's quite necessary, although it's pretty horrific. Ow. That was loud. The other option is that we could just blow a hole in the wall, right? Just go straight in now. But there's so many overwatches. It'd be pretty pretty much completely useless. Order. 
2p. Yep, 2p might as well join in. Although that said, we could just go inside. Yeah, 2p is going to be, you know, apart from the rest. The reason is I want another overwatch pointing on the inside. Oh, we could go that shot. Which technically could be a kill. Yeah, 50% chance for a kill. Or we could hit our own cover. That's... Yeah, that sucks. Oh, hello. You bastard. Oh, that's our bonus XP gone. I hate it when they do stuff like that. It's not normally that bad in open planes where you can see it, but when they can just move anywhere on a map that's got, like, this amount of cover, such a pain in the ass. Shot failed to connect. Okay, right. That guy behind us needs to die. Do we have a shot? No. Okay, do we have a shot with you? No. Do we have a shot with... You. No. Do we have a shot with you? Yes, but you're injured. Do a shot with you? Yes. Take it. There we go. Ass. Um, you need to heal yourself. Hey! Didn't take health damage. That was entirely armor damage. Way! That's really lucky. Nice. Okay, I'm pleased about that. That's really good. I... I thought we were like, oh, that's like a load of XP lost. Oh, that's so annoying. No, we're fine. Um, shoot the guy here. It's frustrating. No way that just happened. Oh, another kill for the rookie. Dead in the water here. I'm about to start keeping score. Heat up. Yes. Come on. I won't go down without a fight. One floater left. Tempting to try and get the floater with a capture or something. Let's see what he does. Eh. Okay. We could go for the capture here. We have flashbangs and stuff. So, press. Toopy runs here. Rolling out. Let's move our guys up so that we can actually get, you know, shots if we need to. Rolling out. I'm ready. Let's do this. I should probably move you up because you've got flashbangs. There we go. Overwatch, as I expected. We are out of ammo for a suppression, so we can't do a suppression. We're going to have to use an, a flashbang, which is annoying. Moving to he won't get the shot on us here. Don't think we've range. Yeah, we're just out of range. Can we take a flashbang this time? Oh, we don't have a flashbang. Oh, we do here, right. Yeah, this is... Can I... Come on. Come on. I know who needs the XP most. He's like, ah, oh, I'm just immune. You, you can't get me. I'm floating. God damn it, floater. Why is such a pain in the ass? We nailed it, Serves you right. 15 aliens dead. Swarming mission. Boshed. Yeah, boshed. I stand by that. If all our missions go as well as this one did, and we've got the bonus the XP. Don't stand a chance. And tactical for Storm Chaser. Peter Van Dorn's being promoted. Now, the question is what we're going to go for. Uh, we already have two disabling. I think a snapshot is probably in order. And he got five health now. Not bad. Tim? Um, yeah, heat ammo. Every gunner gets heat ammo. Storm Chaser. Yeah. Infantry, light them up. You're going to be such a good infantry, Storm Chaser. Oh, and you got the automatic upgrade. So yeah, it was just people who are recruited don't get it. 
Um, well, people are recruited via the method that we thought earlier. You get the point. Um, I'm really pleased with that. Really pleased with how that mission went. And we've got sector kept over. That's... Oh. Eight alien alloy. And a load of money. Remember, yeah. We will be watching. Pleased as punch. Now, one thing I did find with the loadout is I could do with one more unit of armor for heavy and one more unit of armor for light. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more armor. Engineering built by item. And this time I want to build a Kestrel armor. Because it's got the grapple gun inbuilt. So that's going to be a light armor. For maybe something like, you know... A sniper who needs to get up nice and high. It's going to be good. No, I'm not going to trade flight computers for two uh, engineers. No. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. I can't build the gene lab yet. I need more money. And I don't have to sell. Awesome. We have the ability to build ourselves some tasty, tasty... Where are they? Come grenades. Oh, we can build an alloy bivod. Yay! I want to build one of them. Because they're awesome. They're what? Like, uh, plus 10 aim, plus 10 critical. If you just technically take the costly actions. Yeah. What else have we got? Armor breaching. That's... Uh, chem grenade. Oh, wow. Those prices have gone up and we don't have the corpses either. Wow! 102 for a chem grenade. What? Bloody hell. Um, targeting module. Meh. Shredder ammo. Again, I'd like one. Reaper rounds. Um, extra damage, but additional blah, blah, blah. Less accurate. Blah, boring. <sighs> I think we need one of those, one of those. We'll probably need a shredder. We also need an alloy bipod. I'm going to take the alloy bipod for now. And we'll build the rest when we can. Terminate's lab. This is going to be too expensive for us. Ow. I want this as well. Flamethrower. Yeah. Advanced surgery. Ooh. Rapid healing of our personnel. Yes. So I want that. I want that. I want it all. I like it. Ten days for gauze. Eleven for Illyrium. Advanced aerospace is eight. I'll take advanced aerospace. We need to be able to up our air game. As for how much things are going to cost, let's look at facilities. Um, I would need to build there to be able to get the perk for combining these. Actually, I didn't mean to build the fission there, did I? I meant to go and have a square of workshop foundry. Oh, well, I've balls that up. Fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I need to build a hole here so that I can put our mech lab in. Summon next lab. Have, ooh, 300. That's not being built for a long time. Yeah, that's not going to be built for a very long time. End of uh, end of month, exactly. Um, which is a shame, because I really want it. Okay, what about the... Cybernetic... Gene Lab, that's the one. 200. Yeah, not going to be built for a little while, either. Oh, well. Also, let's look at the foundry. How much is that mech project worth? 25. You know what? I'll buy that now, because that way I can have it ready. Grey market. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? What want to get rid of? I want to get rid of... Drone Rex. And... Tularium. Oop. Done. Research. No. Engineering. Foundry. Yes. Mech system. I'll make sure production begins immediately. Bye-bye, Shen. It's a very long episode today. Okay. Do we have the ability to shoot this guy down? Yeah. We'll go with a laser cannon, then we'll follow up with an avalanche if he's about to die. Whee! Come on, we can catch him. Okay. He's trying to land near the Mexico Sea or something, I don't know. 
One, two, no. Okay, he's nearly dead. What next? Um, aggressive with a normal avalanche missile, I think. If we can get him down, we can get a load of uh, alloy off him. Because alloy is tasty. And we can also sell it for money. I don't want to do that, but still. Basically, money. Cash bounty! And we didn't take any damage. Yeah! 202! I'm going to save it for the mech lab. Saving up. Saving it for the mech lab. That said I could just... No. We need to actually cut a hole in the ground. Then we... Yeah, okay. Now we'll save up. It's a very long episode today. Wow. I forgot to do a scan. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll send someone on a mission. Soldier list. Soldier list. Soldier list. Soldier list. There we go. Agent Wild Child Hucking Loadout. What have you got for my loadout today, my lovely alloy plate? I agree. An alloy plate would be nice. Heater. You're almost at your, you know, level for, you know, getting level up. You're almost at your boundary for level up. That's what I meant. Which would be good. You're still at six health, though. That's the only thing that worries me. Alloy plate, battle scanner. Bam. Take it. Send operative on mission. I keep forgetting to do those exalt mission things. Oh, well, at least it was only panic, not money. If it was money, I'd have been angry. No, you want half my alien ally for two engineers? No. A low raider, okay. We will scramble. Oh, damn, I think we can only scramble to hit him once. I, Again, we're too damaged. We're so damaged at the moment. We're really failing on the air game. I think we need to buy more interceptors and switch them out. Put them on other continents or something. This is not great. I say it like I mean really, really bad. And you know what? I mean kind of worrying. Yeah. Aggressive with the uh, avalanche missile. If we get a hit and they don't, we'll back off. And we'll go again. Enemy is padlocked. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. They got a hit on us. So Disengaging. two hits. We got half damage. We have to leave it at that. A scout. We have to go up. But it worries me that we're going to have a four-day gap if we get hit. Now, there's no point going up balance, particularly. I want to get a hit and then just back off. Um, actually, I'll go up balance. There's no point going up defensive because people are like, oh, go up defensive. No. No point going up defensive because I need the hit. If we're not balanced, I'd just be going up more times. All right, come on, hit and then run, hit and run. We got a hit. That's good enough for me. It's annoying, but I'll have to do. Abduction site. Okay, we have an abduction site to go to in India. Finally, the end of the episode. Very long episode there. Shillong in India. We are coming for you. We'll save you from these horrible aliens. It's light. We'll probably take two rookies. Take the rookies out. Take them for a spin. Capture some aliens with the arc thrower. Sell them on the black market. You know, the good stuff. 80 quid. It's ours. Then, not quite at the level for a mech lab. If we sell a couple of things, mech lab will be fun. But until next time, I've been Aaron Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. It's been a very long one. And stay shiny.